Hare Krishna. Earlier today, I had so many thoughts and ideas about what I wanted to talk about. Because man, there's so much going on in the world and it's happening mad fast. So anyway, I'm on Steinway Street in Queens. I gotta go take care of some business. So, walking past one of these stores and I saw the display. And in the display, something happened in Mississippi, man. I mean, something serious like... The earth opened up in Mississippi. Now, they already found a crack in the earth in Wyoming. I didn't get to read that article, so I don't have any details on the crack in the earth in Wyoming. But I just saw this thing on the news about Mississippi. Listen, man. I don't know what's going on on this planet. Personally, firsthand, I don't know what's going on. But I can say that according to the, to the Vedas, right? Whenever demons are born on the planet, too many demons are being born on the planet, you're going to get a lot of natural disturbances, which are actually unnatural, well, natural disturbances. Earthquakes, pestilence, plagues, all of that stuff mentioned in the book of Matthew, yeah, all this stuff has always been happening on the planet Earth. That's what a naysayer would say. Yeah, that's true, but it's the frequency and it's the intensity of these so-called natural occurrences that's truly disturbing. Now on the Srimad Bhagavatam, Mother Earth, Mother Bhumi herself, basically she could provide for all of the living entities that are born on her planet and the visitors. But she said she could carry the burden of anybody on this planet, but the weight of a liar she can't bear. I'm noticing a lot of sinkholes popping up. All right, girl, I see you, I see you. Doing your thing, all right now. Can, can you show me what that latest move is about? <laughs> all right, just say Hare Krishna one time. I'll leave you alone. Turn around, turn around, sis. Say Hare Krishna one time. You in a Mets town, you gotta show me some love. Say Hare Krishna. All right, you said it in your heart. I believe you. Anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, see, I'm trying to get everybody to just Go with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, because guess what? It's going down on your planet. It's going down. When you see all of these sinkholes, when you see the earth literally dropping out from under people's feet, yo, it's really getting serious. So, oh, we got a problem though, because a lot of people believe the earth is flat right now. You know what I'm saying? So if the earth is flat, what the hell is a sinkhole? If the earth is flat, when the sinkhole goes down, you should be able to see whatever's on the other side of the earth. You should be able to see China. Yo, man, this flat earth theory is nonsense, all right? People have taken their distrust for NASA. Nobody distrusts NASA more than I do. I know how NASA was started. First of all, those are a bunch of Nazi scientists that escaped from Germany. By the way, I think I mentioned it before in a YouTube video. Generally, when you see people of pure European German descent in places like Argentina, you can pretty much guarantee that they are descendants of Nazi soldiers who escaped there. Do the research. Don't accept nothing I say. Do the research. A lot of those Europeans in Argentina from Germany are actually escaped Nazis and their families. I know this for a fact. So anyway, NASA was started in collaboration the American Nazis and the German Nazis. They got together because they all brothers, trust me. Trust me when I tell you that. They might have been busting shots on each other, but um, they'll all come together quickly if it comes down to destroying Africans. I see somebody I know. I don't want her to see me because I want to finish this video, so let me slow down. Anyway, right? So with this flat earth nonsense theory, and I mean no disrespect to the intellectual community out there. The scriptures do describe the earth as a globe. And all of the spheres in this universe are globes. Not triangles. Not flat discs. The boom mandala mentioned in Srimad Bhagavatam, the fifth canto, actually is giving you a view of the planet earth from a multi-dimensional standpoint of view. From the view of the demigods, from the view of the humans, from the view of beings who are even higher than them. So you got to understand that one person might see a circle, 
Another person might see a ball. Excuse me, you following me? Hey, you following me, miss? I guess not. <laughs> anyway, right? I'm just having fun with it, cause man, you got to chant Hare Krishna, that's going down. So, back hundreds of years ago, people was getting killed for saying the earth is round. Now you got people in 2015 really saying that the earth is flat. And they're just basing that on their distrust of NASA. I don't like NASA, I don't trust NASA at all. Why is it that you could go upstate New York right now where the air is clear and see a million stars with your naked eye? But when you get pictures back from NASA on the International Space Station, you don't see not one star in the background. Don't you find that peculiar that every single picture that comes back from NASA has to be doctored first? I mean, I saw some things, some of the raw pictures of the uh, comet Phoebe or whatever, the asteroid Phoebe. Yo, it, it had houses on it, man. It had rectangular structures on a damn asteroid. It had flowing liquid. I know what flowing liquid looks like because I played in sand and water as a child. Flowing liquid does the same thing to dirt. No matter if it's made of mercury, ammonia, liquor, water, it, it leaves the same similar patterns. All I'm saying, man, sure NASA's been lying, but that is not good enough to prove that the planet Earth is flat. So I have a friend, she said, well, I've been all over the planet Earth, and I swear to God, every inch is flat. Let me tell you something. You could be six feet, or you could be 1,600 feet. Your height in relationship to the 25,000 mile diameter of the planet Earth is less than insignificant. A six foot tall man, if he lays down on the ground, is not even one tenth of one tenth of one tenth of the diameter of the planet Earth. So none of us can conceive or perceive the curve in the Earth just by our limited senses. So once again, yeah, NASA's a bunch of BS. They always doing some nonsense. They always pulling up lies. But you can't use NASA's lies to justify that the Earth is flat. I need some real science. Don't tell me about CGI and that I'm accepting what NASA's giving me. No, I don't accept really nothing that NASA gives me. I know that my senses are imperfect, but I ain't going to sit here and speculate about the position of the Earth when I have information that's verifiable. I mean, it's 2015. We already proved that the Ramayana is true. It's proven. It's a fact. So right now, everybody on the Earth should be reading the Ramayana. It's proven. It's like it's no way. The satellite showed you the bridge. The satellite showed... Yo, they show you the floating stones that was used to build this bridge. It's all real. So what more you need? What more you need for, for somebody to do? Listen, I think y'all need a European guy to come out the clouds named Jesus and show y'all the right way. Only problem is, half of what you know about Jesus is fictitional. The letter J was just recently invented. So his name wasn't Jesus, whoever he was. He definitely wasn't of European descent. I don't care what you say. You could debate it. You could post your, your, your Aryan, your Zionist links. I don't give a hoot. Jesus was not a European man. Half of what you know about Jesus ain't even true. And furthermore, you don't believe the people who are living when the people who are living tell you what's the deal, you don't believe them. So how the heck you going to believe somebody coming back from the dead? You're going to believe that even less than somebody who was here living in the flesh with you. Think about what I'm telling you. You don't need no dead prophets to come back. You don't need no resurrection. You don't need no return of the Messiah. You need to deal with the legacy that the Creator left here for you. Whether it is etched in stone or etched in the DNA. But what's most important is that which is etched in sound. Once again, even your Bible says, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was God. And then it goes down to break down that creation commenced from the sound. I don't want to go into the story of Brahmaji right now. But you can look him up. His name is Brahma. His name is Nefertum. Look it all up. Anyway, I'm going into the house of Lakshmi. al baytul Ma'mur. Yeah, I'm going into Bayt al Ma'mur, the house of wealth. Anyway, this is material wealth. I'm going to get some money. I like to get money so I could do things. You can't eat without money unless you're growing your own food. I don't grow no food right now. Anyway, get prepared for major earth changes. Once again, Mississippi is opening up, swallowing residents, entire cars. You got to see it. 
Wyoming is opening up. Siberia is opening up. The ground is no longer supporting them. What's happening with all of these planes? Every few days, there's a major plane crash. So once again, we have presiding deities that rule over the earth, presiding deities that rule over the five elements, air, water, etc. Well, we can see that the deities that control the air are no longer cooperating with humans. The deities that are controlling the earth are no longer cooperating with humans. What's going to happen when the water starts acting up? I live in a coastal city. I live through Sandy. You don't want to see a Hurricane Sandy. You don't want to see the after effect of Sandy. Sandy, I could have went out there with a wife beater, a t-shirt, and, and just chilled out. The rain, the wind was nothing. It's the after effect. It was the flooding. It was the human despair. There is nothing worse than human despair. I'd rather die in a volcano than suffer slowly. Hare Krishna.